up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is a complete scandal. That is right out of this world. Thanks for, for giving me this outlet, this opportunity to explore my, uh, you know, food, love of food. A lot of people ask me, you know, what does a vegetarian eat? They think it's a bit weird. People often talk to me about where do you get protein from? People are obsessed with protein. Um, so what I've done with this pie is to put to pulses chickpeas in them. They're great protein. They're lentils are tremendous in soups and stews. Um, there's so many, so many options for a vegetarian or vegan. So anyway, that was one of the reasons for making this pie because one, it's really tasty, which is the main thing. It's also got this sort of um, the protein element, which a lot of, it's the question I'll get asked more than anything. Um, I mean, I've had all sorts of sort of vitriolic responses and people slagging me off about being a vegetarian and how on earth can you do it? And if I lose a match, it's because I don't eat meat and I mean I've had all that I've had all that well you obviously do it with a lot of um, meals is to start off frying onions instead of just normal onions we, we're going with leeks uh, so some rapeseed oil I love sort of playing about with it and doing you know making different flavors and all that sort of stuff so the leeks leeks are going in food is key it, it's the one thing that we can make sure is right at an event all sorts of different players will have different relationships with food. Some of them have to watch, wet, watch their weight. Some of them can eat anything they want, which is really annoying for people like me. But I know some players, just it's room service. And I mean, I went through my own phases where it would, I'd just stay in the room and just be comfortable eating there rather than going out. But when you get a little bit, I think I, as, as I've got older, it, when you're in a place like New York, you just want to go and explore and um, see different things and visit different restaurants. It's one of the beautiful things about playing the game really and getting the chance to travel. The vegetarian thing I suppose is a bit of an issue in, in some places more than others. Uh, places like New York and San Francisco, Hong Kong, you've just got so many options. They're big cities, some, some are more difficult. Uh, some, sometimes I think the Europe is actually not that clever. If you go, if you go to some, some European countries you, it's not always that easy to carry on as a vegetarian and Sometimes the Middle East uh, is, is obviously quite, their diets can be often about meat, so sometimes can be a bit of a challenge. But to be honest, most places are pretty good. You can always find a vegetarian meal somewhere, you can always find a pasta with tomato sauce, and it's not like I have to start raiding the hotel kitchen and cooking my own meals or anything. It, it's just not that difficult nowadays, really. Um, one thing I was gonna just make is a, is a little, a good little snack, actually, this. If you get a packet of chickpeas and just throw them in a throw them in a roasting pan or something, slap loads of oil on them. Um, you can sort of just roast them on a really quite a low heat. So you like cook these through, but then they become this sort of crunchy, crunchy sort of chickpea snack. I got it off an idea off a nutritionist. Um, she knows that I'm not I'm really into using loads of animal produce and this is a really good option. And you can put loads of different flavors if you want. You could go with like curry powder, um, different turmeric, whatever herb you want, throw it in there and just pop it in here for half an hour or so. And then you'll um, get this sort of nice snack. And that's, you can take that away as well. It's, re it's really easy, but it's such a good way to get protein in which, as I said, everyone is really obsessed about protein, so. You see it in gyms, you know, people carrying protein drinks around, they're just obsessed with protein. I mean, you can get most of the nutrients that you need from meals and things, and you see people coming in for half an hour doing a few arm curls, and then hammering a protein shake, I and mean, it's just, like, it's just not really very necessary, and people are just, there's an obsession about it. So yeah, I think that with this dish, this like pie dish that I'm making, just, you know, there are so many sort of ways you can do it and if you want to use different vegetables just there's no there's no set way of doing this really i just use all the ones that i really like S some sweet corn and we're going in with some stock and then that's it just sort of cooks really and then the chickpeas which are the ingredient of the day ticking all the protein
boxes that everyone wants to tick. So we've got loads of um, that stock in there, which gives it loads of flavour. Throw a bit more wine in. You can never put too much wine in, can you? That, that cooks away. Just going to sort of, yeah, let, let it cook. We, we need a bit of flour, otherwise it just gets, it's too watery. So we just go with a bit of flour. I don't think that, that might make it a bit lumpy. I'm not exactly sure about um, when you add flour in, but you know, I don't, I don't sort of follow recipe books too closely. So. There's no right or wrong necessarily. I mean, I think we all know what's sort of healthy and what is less healthy and that if we eat cream cakes all day, every day, we're going to get heart disease and all that sort of thing. But um, having it in Hong Kong, for instance, you know, picking up a plate of noodles for breakfast, fantastic, you know, I mean, you just wouldn't do it, would you? You wouldn't do it, but why, why, why not? You know, we get all, we just, we, we just think we should eat cereal and toast every morning, then you go over there and well, let's have some dim sum and, you know, whatever it is for breakfast. I, I love all that. And that, that's one of the great things about seeing the different cultures and so, so far, um, Nathan, in this, this cookery class that I am uh, very generously uh, giving to Squash TV here, um, we've, we've put some chickpeas in the oven to make them roast them. So they're, they're cooking. We've, in this meal, this pie meal that we're making, I've gone with leeks and sweet corn and chickpeas. So we've fried leeks. We've added some white wine, quite a lot, well, a decent amount of, because that's good taste. Uh, we've put some stock, vegetable stock in there. No, oops. Yeah. It's tasting good, that. Really, all that needs then is we just get the pastry on it. Oh, do you know, that's, I don't know, I should have thought of a name, actually, shouldn't I? We've got assembled the pie, and there it is. James Wilstrop's sporty, healthy, vegan pot pie. This world-beating pot pie has been in the oven for 40 minutes, 190 degrees. So uh, let's see what it's looking like. It looks all right. We know looks aren't everything, don't we? We know that. So let's, uh, this is my uh, specially made vegetable, protein-packed, sporty, Pot pie, you cannot go wrong with that. Very good. I hope you're not just saying that. No, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs>